Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third 10 gallon BART one. It's the final one. 10 gallon BART beats the heat by Susan Stevens Crummel and illustrated by Dorothy Donahue. Now, I want you to think about the title, He Beats the Heat, and I want you to look at the picture. Look in the background. What do you think might happen in this story? Susan and Dorothy give you clues about the story by the title and the picture. Ten Gallon Bart Beats the Heat It was hot in Dog City. Hot, hot, hot. Scorching hot. Blistering hot. Tongue hanging out hot. It was so hot that the chickens were laying fried eggs. Ten gallon Gart, excuse me, ten gallon Bart was downright miserable. Can't sleep. My bed's like a skillet, he muttered. Can't howl. My throat's full of dust. Can't fish. My fishing hole's all dried up. Can't even dig a bone. The ground's as hard as a rock. What I'd give to be someplace cold right now. Shivering cold. Teeth chattering cold. Bone chilling cold. Paradise. The weekly stagecoach arrived in a cloud of dust. Bart coughed and pulled up his bandana. Whoa! yelled driver Gabby Goose. Don't shoot! Silly Goose! It's me, Bart, not a robber. Well, sure is. Thought it was a holdup. Here's the town mail. Love to gab, but gotta go before the dust settles. Giddy up! There was mail for everyone. A postcard for Miss Pixie and Miss Dixie. Letters for Wyatt Burp, Wild Bill Hiccup, and Miss Kitty. A package for Buffalo Gal. And for Bart, his favorite magazine. Bart turned the pages of Barker's Weekly. He stopped cold. His eyes grew as big as saucers, and a grin spread over his face like syrup on pancakes. Hot diggity dog! Bart howled. Paradise, the coolest place on earth. I can go fishing, sledding, digging, and get rich to boot. No more hot dog. I'm fixing to be a chili dog. Ten Gallon Bart bought his ticket, packed his duds, those are his clothes, grabbed his fishing pole, hugged his pals, and headed north. He went by train, chugga 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 chugga, and by stagecoach, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, and by boat, splish splash, splish splash, splish splash. Bart hollered as he bounded off the boat. Paradise, just like in Barker's Weekly. Look at that lake. Fishies, get ready for ten-gallon Bart. Bart threw out his line into the lake. Tugink, this fish is too small, Bart cried, tossing it back. He threw out his line again. Tugink, this fish is too big. Bart cried, tossing it back. He threw out his line for the third time. Tug yank. This fish is just right, Bart cried. Yummy. Grrr. Who's been catching my fish, growled Black Bear. Grrr. Who's been catching my fish, growled White Bear. Grrr. Who's been catching my fish, growled Brown Bear. Something fishy's going on here, snarled the three bears. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy mackerel, Ten Gallon Bart tossed the fish and ran for his life. He bolted over the mountains, through the snow, and up a tree. Stay away from our lake, warned the three bears, ambling off. Bart grumbled. So much for fishing. Then he spotted a small shack and perked up. 
Yippee! It's sledding time! Bart climbed down the tree and waved to Mr. Moose. Howdy! I'm Town Gallon Bart from Dog City and I'm just itching to go dog sledding. Ever been dog sledding? asked Mr. Moose. No, but I'm a dog and I've ridden a goat and a bull, bragged Bart. Sledding should be a cinch. Mr. Moose chuckled. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what you think. Let's go. He slipped a harness onto Ten Gallon Bart, tied him to the sled, and hopped on. Wait a cotton picking minute, growled Bart. When do I get to go dog sledding? You are dog sledding, yelled Mr. Moose. Now mush! Mush? Bart asked. Go! shouted Mr. Moose. Oh, you mean giddy up? hollered Bart. I said mush! roared Mr. Moose, snapping the whip. Crack! Yow! Ten gallon Bart took off across the frozen tundra. The more Mr. Moose cracked the whip, the faster Bart ran. Gee-haw! screamed Mr. Moose. Right, left. Yee-haw! echoed Bart as he plunged forward faster and faster, right onto a glacier. Snap! The sled broke loose. Bart went sliding. He slid up, he slid down, he slid frontward, he slid backward, he slid sideways and in circles. He did loop de loops loops and somersaults. Help! Bart shrieked, I can't stop. Bump. Ten gallon Bart belly flopped into a snow blank bank. Bart grumbled. So much for dog sledding. Then he spotted a sign and perked up. Yippee! It's digging time! I'm gonna get rich so I can buy my own sled and fishing hole too! <coughs> Excuse me. Take cover! yelled a miner. Storms are coming! Looks like a big one! Weather's gone haywire! Oh, couldn't be worse than a dog city sandstorm, Bart howled. I'm going up that mountain and dig me some gold. Bart reached the top and he started digging. The snow was falling and so it went all night. Digging and snowing. Snowing and snowing. Digging and snowing. Snowing and snowing. By morning, all you could see of Bart was his ten-gallon hat. And all you could hear of Bart was a faint grumbling, S -s -s So much for gold digging. Meanwhile, in Dog City... Read the headlines, cried Wyatt Burp and Wild Bill Hiccup. That hat, hollered Buffalo Gale. It's Bart's hat. He's buried in the snow. He'll freeze. We'll have to help him, squawked Miss Fixie, running around like a chicken with her head cut off. Don't get your feathers ruffled, warned Miss Kitty. Calm down. Think. We need warm stuff for Bart and money for tickets. Hurry, let's meet back here in five minutes. Here's our piggy bank, snorted Wyatt Burp and Wild Bill, Bill Hiccup. And Crazy Bull's blanket, that'll warm Bart on the outside. Look, two bigs in a blanket, snickered Buffalo Gal. I brought red hot chili peppers, that'll warm Bart on the inside. I have a little nest egg, chirped Miss Pixie, to pay for the tickets. And here's some cash in the kitty, added Miss Kitty. Hang on, ten gallon Bart, we're on our way. Splish, splash, splish, splash, clip, clap, clip, clap, chugga, 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 chugga. We're coming, we're coming, everyone hollered as they raced up the mountain. They dug fast and furiously. Pause, cried Pixie and Dixie. A mouth, shouted Buffalo Gail, sticking, her, sticking in a red hot chili pepper. Wyatt Burp and Wild Bill Hiccup wrapped the blanket around Bart, but Bart didn't move. He was shivering cold, teeth chattering cold.
Bone chilling cold. Bart was frozen stiff. Everyone huddled around Bart. We're here, sobbed Buffalo Gale. We need you, wailed Miss Pixie and Miss Dixie. You're our buddy, blubbered Wyatt Burp and Wild Bill Hiccup. We missed you, Bart, bawled Miss Kitty. Bart blinked one eye. He blinked the other. He began to shake from head to tail. Then he slowly smiled at his friends. I m missed you, too. S -s 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 Take me back to t -t 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 Dog City. It was hot in Dog City. Hot, hot, hot. Scorching hot. Blistering hot. Tongue hanging out hot. It was so hot the pigs were frying like bacon. But Ton Yellen Bart didn't care. He was happy. He was hot. He was home. Paradise. And that's the end. I hope you enjoy the 